Hi everyone, Mike here from AffiliateMarketerTraining.com and in this video I'm going to give a very brief explanation of what meta tags are and um, sort of how you can optimize them so you can rank higher in the search engines. So what I'm going to do first is show you uh, first on WordPress how to properly optimize your page and your meta tags and then I'll show you here on just a regular HTML file. Uh, so those of you who are using HTML I'll be able to show you as well how to properly optimize your meta tags. So in WordPress, it's going to look a little bit different depending on what theme you have and uh, or, or what plugins that you install. I very very highly recommend that you install some sort of an SEO or search engine optimization plugin, especially if you're new to developing websites. So there's a whole bunch of different plugins out there. I'm not going to give a, a specific recommendation. Um, you can do your own research just install at least one of them and uh, it'll really help you out in, in ranking higher in the search engines. So most of the time below where you enter in your content, a little section here, in my case it says theme SEO settings. Um, yours might say something different. Actually, this is a pretty basic SEO program here, plugin that I have for this site. The one, whatever you have is probably gonna be better than this one and it'll have better descriptions and all that. But what I really want to show you is the main meta tag. So you're going to notice a title meta tag. And then you're also going to notice a description meta tag. And usually you'll see a keyword meta tag as well. So what exactly are these? This basically, whatever I put in the title meta tag, is what Google or other search engines will show as the link in the search results. So they won't always do this, but usually, especially if your site is ranking highly, they will pull this information. So if somebody types in uh, into Google explanation of meta tags, for example, Google is going to show a list of websites, and hopefully mine will be on the top 10 uh, on the first page of Google, and this is what will show up as the link to my site. This here, as you might guess, would be the description under that link. And these are also going to show up, say you uh, share this page on Facebook. This, again, will be the link, and this will be the description of that page. So these are pretty important. You want to really make sure that you don't have any spelling errors or grammar errors in here. Um, now, the keyword uh, tag, the keyword meta tag here, this used to be used by Google and some of the other search engines back in the early days. You can put in whatever keywords you're targeting here. So in my case... I'm targeting uh, explanation of meta tags, okay? And you're usually going to want to put in a few, so I might put in meta tags, uh, meta tag description, okay? But in all honesty, most people just leave this stuff blank because nothing looks at this. None of the search engines look at this anymore. It's really just for your own purposes if you have some reason that you want to use the meta keyword tag. Otherwise, it can be ignored. So the two that you really want to pay attention to, and these are very, very important, I mean critical to ranking highly in search engines, is your title tag and your description tag. Now, how do you optimize these to help you rank higher in the search engines? Well, there's a little bit more to it. So those of you who have been doing this for a little while, I know that a lot of you are beginners, but you're going to want to do keyword research and basically find out what are people typing into Google and then you want to try to rank for certain terms. So, for example, on my page, on this page uh, here, I'm trying to rank for explanation of meta tags. So you'll notice in the main title of the page, the main header here, I put in explanation of uh, meta tags. Now, I've also got it in the URL, explanation of meta tags here. You're also going to notice that I have it in the content. So let me see if I can find it here. I know it's somewhere in this area. Um, explanation of meta tags. So I've got it in the title a couple times, or in the article a couple times. You don't need to stuff your article. I mean, a good once or twice is fine. If you have it in there more, as long as it fits naturally, that's okay. Just make sure it sounds natural. But you do want to make sure that you have your main keyword, what you want to rank for, in the content itself. And you're also going to see these subheadings here that I have um, and let's see I think it's down here explanation of meta tags in a secondary heading as well so I have my keywords in the main heading in the URL 
in the content and in a subheading. Now you're also going to want to have those same keywords in your meta tags. So here I have it in my document title and I also have it in my page description. In addition to that, I haven't added them yet, but I will probably have an image somewhere up here. I'll align an image to the right or something. And I'm going to save that image and the file name will be explanation of meta tags. And then of course I'm making this video right now, which I'll probably put somewhere around here. And the video file name will be, as you might guess, explanation of meta tags. And I'll probably put a nice little heading above the title that says, I don't know, something like, check out my video explanation of meta tags, something like that. So really you're, you're telling Google this page is definitely about explanation of meta tags. When people search for this term, um, you know, Google will see, wow, this website has this exact phrase embedded in all these different areas. And this is not something that Google doesn't like. This isn't tricking Google. These are all things that search engines actually want you to do to try to help tell them what this page is about. So um, anyway, that's really what you want to focus on with these meta tags is making sure key your keywords are in the meta tags in conjunction with all of these other elements. Now, let me go over here to my HTML file, and this is just gonna be real fast for those of you who are using HTML. If you're using HTML, you probably already know this, but you'll see up on top here um, in your header, okay, so between the head tags, you will see this uh, title area, which is gonna be the same thing as this here. So that's gonna be what Google shows as your, uh, as the link in any search results. Um, or, you know, if this will show up in, if you share it on YouTube or Twitter or whatever, it'll automatically show this as the link for uh, the page that you're pointing to. So there's your title tag. We already went over the meta description tag, just make sure it's between the, uh, the quotes here. And if you do want to put in a keyword, you can, otherwise you can just delete this. It might not even be there. Um, or you can just sort of leave a blank like that. It doesn't really matter because no, nobody really pays attention to the keyword tag anymore. Um, and I know this will look like a lot of uh, jumbled up jargon to some of you, but uh, of course you're going to want to have your keywords in the header in at least you know one link in the paragraph all that good stuff um, that I've already covered so uh, these are just the really the main three meta tags that you have to worry about whether you you're using uh, WordPress or an HTML file or, or anything else it doesn't matter what you're using it's all pretty much set up the same way you'll just notice those three meta tags so if you're not already on my website come over to affiliate marketer training.com you can um, just go to this URL here. You'll see it in my blog section and check out this article where I go into a, a little bit more detail about the meta tags as well as some meta tags that are obsolete that nobody uses anymore. Um, and really, I've got a whole, I mean, I've got hundreds of articles here that will help you grow as an affiliate marketer. And in fact, if you've never earned money online through affiliate marketing before, you're going to want to sign up for my free seven day affiliate marketing e course. And this is where you know, most people fail at affiliate marketing because they don't treat it like a legitimate business, which affiliate marketing is a legitimate business. It's a very profitable business, actually. But you need to have a business plan, a monetization plan. You have to do some market research. And really, you have to know what to do and in what order to do it in order to succeed. And that's what I go through in my free seven-day affiliate marketing e-course. By the end of the, the first week or by this time next week, you will have a business plan, a monetization plan, a website blueprint, and a whole bunch of stuff that you're going to learn that you don't even know you have to learn right now. And because it's, I'm able to sort of send it to you by email throughout seven days, I can give you everything in the order that you need to know it. So again, if you're not on my website, if you're maybe watching this on YouTube or somewhere else, come over to my website, affiliatemarketertraining.com. Look for that free seven-day affiliate marketing e-course, and I highly recommend you sign up. If you're already on my site, as soon as this video ends, you'll see a little uh, box where you can put in your email address. Just go ahead and throw in your email, and I will send you day one of my free e-course right away. So, okay, guys, I hope this helped. Again, this is Mike from AffiliateMarketerTraining.com, and I will talk to you next time.